engineers do engineering they build bridges so engineering needs engineers the economy does not need economists economists does not make economy but they try it and that is why we have so much problems with some financial models we should look closely on what is happening at moment guys with little mosques can pop up everywhere now given the unstable economic situation a look into history shows us what that could mean if you look at mainstream economics there are three things you will not find in a mainstream economic economic model banks debt and money how anybody can think they can analyze capital while leaving out banks debt and money is a bit to me like an ornithologist trying to work out how a bird flies whilst ignore that the bird has wings i am often asked what i would keep of neo classical economics in a new paradigm paradigm my answer is that i would keep as much of neo classic economics as modern astronomy kept of ptolemaic astronomy which is to say nothing at all the position i know favor is that economics is a pre science rather like astronomy before copernicus bare and galileo i still hold out hope of better behavior in the future but given the travesties of logic and anti empiricism that have been committed in its name it would be an insult Subscribe to the now. other sciences to give economics even a tentative membership of that field looking back on the 50 years since i first become aware of its cause and the word that summarize my feelings about neo classical economics today is that it is as marx once described the proto neo classical gene its vision of capitalism at its best is a system manifesting the harmony of equilibrium where everyone is paid their just return growth is occurring smoothly at a rate that maximizes social utility through time and everyone is motivated by consumption rather than accumulation and power because to quote say the producers tough they have all of them the air of demanding money for their goods do in reality demand merchandise for their merchandise what a bland what a bland picture of the complex changing world in which we live have you heard the joke about the chemist physicist and economist who get dragged on a desert island with a huge supply of canned baked beans as their only food the chemist says that he can start a fire using the neighboring palm trees and calculate the temperature at which a can will explode the physicist says that she can work out on the that she can work out the trajectory of each of the baked beans so that they can be collected and eaten the economist says hang on guys you are doing it the hard way let us you we have a can opener a period of tranquil growth thus leads to rising expectations and a tendency to increase leverage as minsky put it in his most famous sentence stability or tranquility in a world with a cycle past and capitalist financial institution is destabilizing the fallacy that dynamic processes must be modeled as if the system is in continuous equilibrium is probably the most important reason for the intellectually failure of neo classical economics mathematics science and engineering developed tools long ago to model outside of equilibrium processes this dynamic approach to thinking about the economy should become second nature to economist this resulted in a model of macro economy as consisting of a single consumer who lives forever consuming the output of the economy which is a single good produced in a single firm which he owns and in which he is the only employee which plays which pays him both profits equivalent 
to the marginal product of capital and wage equivalent to the marginal product of labor to which he decided how much labor to supply by solving a utility function that maximizes his utility over an infinite infinite time horizon which he rationally expects and therefore correctly predicts the economy would always be in a equilibrium except for the impact of unexpected technologies or shocks that changes the firm's productive capabilities and thus temporarily cause the single capitalist worker a consumer to alter his working hours any reduction in working hour is a voluntarily act so the representative agent is never involuntarily unemployed he just talking more illegal and there are no banks no doubt and indeed no money in this model you think i am joking i wish i was an essential pedagogic step here is to regulate the teaching of mathematical methods in economics to mathematics departments any mathematical training in economics if it occurs at all should come after students have at the very least completed course work in basic calculus algebra and differential equations which most basic uh, economists are woefully ignorant this stimulantly explains why neo classic those in the circuit those in the circuit school experience such difficulties in the translating excellent verbal ideas about credit creation into coherent dynamic models of of a monetary production economy neo classic economics has effectively ins- insulted itself from the great adv- advances made in science and engineering over the last 40 years this self imposed isolation must come to an end for while the concept of neo classical economies economics appear difficult there are actually quaint in comparison to the sophistication evident in today's mathematics engineering computing evolutionary biology and physics in order to advance economics econo- economics must humble submit to learning from discipline that it has studiously ignored for so long some researchers in outside fields have called for the wholesale replacement of standard economic curricula using at least the building blocks of modern thought inherent in other discipline economics also has to become a fundament, fundamentally monetary discipline from the consideration of how individuals make market decisions through to over understanding of microeconomics 